Hello students, today let us see a problem from the topic non-homogeneous partial differential equation. This is the problem given. Solve d square minus 2d dash plus d dash square minus 3d plus 3d dash of z is equal to sine of x plus 2y. First of all, verify whether it is a homogeneous or non-homogeneous partial differential equation. The first term degree 2, second term degree 1 plus 1, 2, third term degree 2, fourth term degree 1, fifth term degree 1. So the degrees are not same for all the terms. So it is a non-homogeneous partial differential equation. For non-homogeneous partial differential equation, first of all, you try to factorize it into linear factors. For that, first let us take the degree 2 terms, d square minus 2d dash plus d dash square. It is in the form of a square minus 2ab plus b square, which can be written as a minus b whole square. So this can be written as d minus d dash whole square. And let us take degree 1 term minus 3d plus 3d dash. Minus 3 is taken in common d minus d dash. There is no degree to 0 term. So let us write it as d minus d dash whole square minus 3 into d minus d dash. And let us take alpha is equal to d minus d dash. So it is in the form of alpha square minus 3 alpha. Alpha if we take it in common alpha minus 3. So d minus d dash into d, d minus d dash minus 3 are the linear factors. Now for this d minus d dash the complementary function contribution is e power 0x. There is no constant. So e power 0x phi 1 of y plus x plus e power 3x phi 2 of y plus x is the contribution. So complementary function is this one. And e power 0x is 1. So we, shall, we need not write it. <coughs> Now the particular integral 1 by d square minus 2d dash plus d dash square minus 3d plus 3d dash of sine of x plus 2y. It is a type 2 partial differential equation uh, right hand side. So in type 2 we take x coefficient square it and put minus sign that for d square. For dd dash multiply x coefficient on y coefficient and put a negative sign minus 2. For d dash square Take the y coefficient, square it and put a negative sign, so minus 4. So when we apply all these things, we will get minus and simplify minus 1 minus 3d plus 3d dash of sine of x plus 2y. And let us take the rationalization process, like conjugate. Minus 1 plus 3d minus 3d dash, multiply and divide. Look at the denominator, it is in the form of a minus b into a plus b, whose product is a square minus b square. Expand this 3d minus 3d dash, 9d square, 18d d dash, 9d dash square. For d square, d d dash, d dash square, let us substitute the previous values and that comes as 10 in the denominator. Numerator we are not considered up to uh, now. Look at the numerator minus 1 plus 3d minus 3d dash. So when we multiply this sign of uh, bring it sign of x plus 2y inside the operator. What do we have? Minus sign of x plus 2y plus 3 into d of sign of x plus 2y. Minus 3d dash of sign of 2x plus 2 uh, sign of x plus 2y. So D is partial differentiation with respect to X. D dash is partial differentiation with respect to Y. So when we differentiate sine, we'll get cos of X plus 2Y. And here when we differentiate sine with respect to Y, cos of X plus 2Y into 2. And here is a minus sign. So minus 6 plus 3. It is minus 3. And this minus sine of X plus 2Y will come as usual without any change. So the particular integral is minus sine of x plus 2y minus 3 cos of <coughs> minus 3 cos of x plus 2y divided by 10. And we when we add complementary function plus particular integral, we will get the solution for Z. With this, this problem is over. Let us see another problem in the next video. Thank you.